All right, we are here in the hardware hacking village with Krolik, and he has been a goon, he's been a village runner, he has done a little bit of everything, but I felt like he is so helpful at the hardware hacking village, I wanted to just talk to him. So, Krolik, how long have you been coming to DEF CON? Uh, since DEF CON 20. Holy cow, that's like, we're almost on nine years at this point. So, what, what has been, ha how has the village been going so far this year? It's been fantastic. Everybody's been very chill, very good, and they're helping each other. Yeah, so, like, what, have you seen anything really cool? Like, we're standing in front of this cash register right now. You said a couple people have coming up to it. Like, what have they been doing with it? They, well, it's been sitting in my garage for two years, and they hacked it so that they could open the door and see what's in it. They printed out a bunch of stuff off of the printer or the the paper they've done a lot of things to it so that's so cool I put it back, so i probably have to have it back in my garage <laughs> i'm i'm laughing because it's funny we always look around at the soldering you always have new solderers who learn how to solder but we almost forget like a lot of the hardware hacking that happens is beyond soldering beyond badge life and comes down to like hacking cash registers what, what do you think is like one of the coolest things that has happened this year in the Hardware Hacking Village? Probably this thing, I would say. I mean, having it print out things that it was never intended to print is a definitely an accomplishment. I mean, like, I don't even know how you would plug into this thing. Like, they had to have dumped firmware. They dumped firmware. They had some sort of battery. I, I only saw it briefly, but they did... A lot with it. I haven't seen it all yet, but I'm anxious to see what happens when I try and plug it in at home. <laughs> it's always a little terrifying when you like bring a piece of hardware to DEF CON, let it, leave it laying around, seeing what people can do with it, and then you risk, when you plug it back in, seeing what it's actually going to do. But now, that's why, we, that's why we do this. We find random hardware at yard sales or thrift stores and we bring it in to let people play it is always amazing the stuff that you guys find to just toss out here i noticed there's like a ton of circuitry over there is that mainly to teach people to desolder is anyone like picked up something from over there and got it to work uh they have they've they used a what was it a wireless uh camera that i had and threw it in there but yeah those are just scraps for anybody to use and play with it's funny every time i see that box over there with all the hardware you assume it's junk like people are going to just grab it desolder it pull parts off but it's always hilarious when someone grabs it and gets it working and then starts adding extra functionality in it like that is absolutely like what hardware hacking is all about now I do have a question, which is, how does someone get started with hardware hacking here? Like, what's the best place to start? Come in, sit down. Find you, find any of the other hardware hackers who are here. Ha are, have you found that everyone's really approachable? Everyone is, and they, they will say, oh, you're having trouble, let me help. This is what you should do. Like, that, I don't know what that was, but... I think, oh, I think it was a VCR, but now it's just to teach people to solder or to play with. <laughs> I love that there's just like, there's VCRs, there's wireless cameras, there's all sorts of random hardware. There's mobile phones. I swear I see like a cell phone from the 90s here. Like that is absolutely incredible. Well, Krolik, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for watching and hack on.